roads? Anyone in there? What? Fine. Well, why not? We could have walked here ourselves, you know. Hey, I told you mum and dad would look after you. And I may like them so much you let them stay over. Pretty cool, isn't it? Is that even a thing? Yeah, of course it is. And I've heard the mayor's house is absolutely massive. I bet they've had an amazing time. Right, come on then, you lot. Assembly awaits. See you later. See ya. They weren't really with the mayor, were they? They'll be back before you get home. What if they knew what I was going to tell them? Is that why they didn't come home? They don't know anything. And you never have to worry about me telling them anything. It's your information to share whenever you're ready. Everything will be all right, kids. I promise you. Why are you lurking outside the wife's toilets? Trying to perv on them as they come out? What? N no, um, I need you to help me with something. I'm not being your wingman. You can creep all by yourself. There's something important that I need to do, but I'm not sure if you're brave enough to do it with me. I'm brave. Braver than you, anyway. Look at them. Prove it. But why? It's in the way. Since when? It's just not me, OK? But what about Mum? She'll lose her head. Like she even cares. I'm sick of doing things just to keep other people happy. If I get grounded for this, you're going to seriously owe me. Is that a yeah? Tony! Hey, have you been like ships in the night recently? You know, watching the footy last night. No, that wasn't the same without you. You want to know the score? No, now, Jack. Tony, I know it's not ideal, me keeping in your soul. Jack, I need to take this. Hello? He's had a rough night. I wouldn't worry about it. Aye, well, me cramping the style doesn't help. Now I think something's going on with the kids. Honestly, I wouldn't worry. He's just got back and he's, he's hardly said two words to me. I hope he doesn't believe what young Frankie's been saying about me. Seriously, it's not that. Just... Tony and Diane got into a bit of trouble last night with the police. The police? I'm trying to keep it hush-hush, though, so... Look, I'll explain later, but I promise you, it's nothing you've done. I, I can explain, I promise. Maybe give him a white beard today. I wish I could. Yeah, well, I was going to cook them something to eat tonight, but you're probably right, I'll, um, I'll make myself scarce. You want me to do what? So, I've just been on the phone to the Standards Committee. Turns out that Teresa's little group chat aren't the only people that read the Chester Herald. So now, I've been quietly encouraged to step down. Quietly encouraged. I've been forced out, more like. And this is all your fault. Do you know what? I can't believe you are still putting all of this on me. Well, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, should I? Because that's how it usually works around here. Excuse me? I take care of the kids. I look after the flat and the pub whilst you swan around being super councillor, Tony to the rescue. Hey, is it any wonder I had a glass of wine? I didn't force you to drive drunk. You begged me to come and pick you up. What, are you above getting a lowly taxi now, are you? I was on important council business, and you know how much that role means to me. More important to you than your own family. Do you know what, Tony? Maybe if you were around here a bit more often, we wouldn't be in this mess. You're unbelievable, you know that? Our family's falling apart, our livelihoods are literally at stake, and you're still not willing to admit that you're a fool here. I have apologised to you all morning for my part in this. But it hasn't worked, so I don't know what more you want from me. I don't want anything from you, Diane. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't even know if I want to be married to you after this. Why 
don't you just go? Do you not think I regret picking you up from that stupid meeting? I know I made an awful mistake, OK? You didn't just make a mistake, Diane. You committed a crime and you dragged me into it too. What did you do? Are you going to go to prison? No. No, of course not, love. Yeah, it's just a silly row. Why are you home so early? Are you in trouble? N no. I, I just... Um... Rose, what is it? Mate, is this because we didn't talk yesterday? No. Yeah. Who did this to you? No one. Hey, you're being bullied. Because if you are, I'll be down at school tomorrow and I'll tell them. I did it myself. What? I did it. Because I'm a boy. Make sure to click here to watch full episodes of Hollyoaks right here on YouTube or click here to catch up on all the latest drama in the village. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all things Hollyoaks.